Hi, I'm Bob Daly, and this is Gulf Coast Gardening with Nature's Way Resources. Hello, everybody. You know, in Texas, we have four million acres of lawns. Uh, that's the fourth largest crop in the state, next to soybeans, sorghum, and corn. And we spend hundreds of millions of dollars every year on chemicals and treatments for our lawns, yet few of us really know how to take care of our lawns. Today we're here with Dan Kilburn, the owner of Green Pro, and he's going to tell us a little bit about how to adequately take care of your lawn. Dan, welcome. Dan, tell us a little bit about Green Pro. At Green Pro, we really focus on trying to be a soil remediation company, doing things like the compost top dressing, the organic compost from uh, Nature's Way Resources, uh, things like putting down organic uh, fertilizer, uh, minerals, uh, humates, that kind of thing that's going to really help uh, the soil build up a good profile and over time be much more resilient to, to problems that occur in the lawn like the fungus, the weeds. And you recommend no chemicals on the, on the lawn. It's better to put organic materials on the lawn. Absolutely. I, whenever, it, it, sometimes it is, you know, you, you have to do something like, say, stop a, a, a chinch bug outbreak or something sure. like that. Um, there are other alternatives you can use uh, to help fight off uh, bug infestations, such as, you know, the organic uh, insecticides that are available in a granular form. Right. Um, I, I've even heard that uh, using uh, uh, ivory soap and water will help combat things like chinch bugs or uh, grub worms right. in the yard. So There's things like spinosad or, or VT or something like that. Yes, sir. Up. Yes, sir. I see that that you're doing a whole lot of stuff out here. I, there was some aeration going on. You were digging uh, divots or plugs out of the ground. You, what was that all about? So what we do is we go out and do core aeration on customers' lawns. And so why do we core aerate? We yeah. core aerate for multiple reasons. The core aeration really opens up the soil and the root zone to uh, better water retention, nutrient uptake, uh, air gets to the roots a lot better. Overall, your lawn is going to look a lot better if you core aerate at least once a year. And, and those, you're taking plugs out of the soil, I noticed. Uh, uh, what's the difference between that and me, me sticking a pitchfork down in there? Right. In the ground. So there's a big difference between aeration and core aeration. So just sticking the holes down in the ground actually can compact the soil even worse than doing a core aeration. So when we core aerate, we try to pull a plug of at least two inches long. Right. And that really will help pull that clay soil out of the yard and uh, open it up to better nutrients, hopefully. I would say per square foot. Uh, maybe maybe two to three uh, uh, cores, depending on if you do uh, a one pass or a crisscross pattern. Right, right. And so you've done the core. What do you do then? So after we core aerate, we come back in and we start spreading uh, compost, quality compost. We put it down at a fourth to a half of an inch thick. Right. We spread it evenly with our uh, spreaders. Uh, a homeowner can, can do this, of course, uh, mm -hmm. by hand, but it's a lot harder to do. Um, the idea is to get a good even spread throughout the lawn with uh, some kind of a machine that right. will spread the compost and giving you an even spread all over your lawn. Now that compost will go down into those plugs that you took out of the lawn, right? Into those cores. Yes, sir. So the idea is that after you put down the compost, you come back through with uh, some kind of a blower uh -huh. and blow the compost into those aeration holes the best you can. Uh, eventually, that compost probably will find its way into the root zone, but it speeds the process. So, what is the purpose of compost? I mean, I see people putting uh, chemicals on their lawns and all kinds of stuff. Why would compost be a better solution than, say, uh, anything else, fertilizer or anything else? Sure. So, compost really does a few different wonderful things for your, your soil. Uh, one, of the, one of the key benefits is it remediates the soil from chemicals such as the pesticides, the insecticides, herbicides that you put down on your lawn uh, to try and remedy things like bugs and weeds and that kind of thing. Sure. Um, the second thing that it does is it provides a structural component to help break up that clay soil. Uh, it really does get down into the soil and it loosens the, the clay soil so that your lawn is, is better able to, to take up nutrients and water and air. 
The third real thing is that it puts microbial, beneficial microbial activity right. into the soil so that it can, it can flourish in what we call the soil food web. One of the things I've noticed in a lot of lawns in this area is that the, the ground below the grass is so hard yes. and compacted. Yes. And compost helped that. It will definitely help that. Aeration, core aeration, along with the compost will definitely relieve some of that, that pressure and break up that compaction. When we had Harvey in our, in our area, that put so much weight on the yards themselves that yards that never had an issue before now do because they are so compacted from that weight of the, of the water in their yards. Right, so that there's no air in there, there's no water that can penetrate it, so right. people are also using a lot more water to try and water their lawns and it's just going off and cheating off into the street. That's right, that's right. When you, when you compost top dress your yard, you have to water your yard less because right. it retains more moisture. I read somewhere that a, a, a cubic foot of a, a good organic soil can hold three quarts of water. And you know, that's in a 4,000 square foot yard, that must be, what, 3,000 3, gallons of water. That's a lot of water. That is a lot of water. We always suggest to the homeowner to go the organic route, you know, to put down good quality uh, organic fertilizers that contain uh, macronutrients that right. will help the lawn uh, grow and flourish. Sure. An organic lawn is, in the long term, is a much more healthier, safer approach than using a chemical-based uh, program. The idea is that the more organic matter that you put into the soil through compost or through a good quality organic fertilizer, yeah. that puts microbial activity into the soil, which will help combat things like the weeds, mm -hmm. uh, will help make your yard less susceptible to fungus, such as take-all patch, uh, brown patch. Brown patch. So yeah. yeah, I mean, the organics are really something that uh, is, is overall, it's good for the lawn to, 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 to apply, whether it's a, through a, an organic compost or through an organic fertilizer. Things that you put down in the soil really matter because long-term you're trying to build up that, that, that soil food web that's gonna contain billions of microorganisms that it's gonna, it's gonna make your lawn healthy. Right, well, we're gonna come back in about two weeks and look at this. I'm sure there's going to be a whole lot of difference on this lawn. Dan, we want to thank you so much for being here with us today. And we're here in Tomball, Texas, uh, which is a really nice little town here in, in, uh, in Southeast Texas. And uh, you're doing a great job on this lawn and we look forward to seeing it again and look forward to talking to you again. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. All right, we're back here at the Green Pro Treated Lawn. And as you can see, or two weeks later, how lush this grass is. Just a little bit of compost preceded by some aeration and we have a gorgeous green lawn. If you have problems with your lawn, this is the way to handle it. Compost, aeration, that's really all you need. You don't need any fertilizer or anything else. Just compost and aeration, it's gonna do a fantastic job. This is Gulf Coast Gardening. Stay tuned for more with Nature's Way Resources. And remember, you can come out to Nature's Way Resources for all your gardening and plant needs.